हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मिली त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टुडे वी विल कवर द टॉर्शनल वाइब्रेशन सिस्टम इन दिस सेशन वी विल कवर द सिंगल डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम टॉर्शनल वाइब्रेशन सिस्टम ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट एज यू सी हाउ दिस टॉर्शनल वाइब्रेशन कैन अकर इन दिस डायग्राम देयर इज अ शार्ट and a rotor is attached at the very base of the shaft now if we move this rotor and uh, twist it and release it what will happen it will rotate and create some vibration to and fro motion this is known as single degrees of freedom vibration okay so now let us assume if we tend to move it in any of the direction the reaction is in opposite direction and that opposite direction reaction is known as inertia torque and this inertia torque is represented as i theta double dot instead of i alpha we can write i theta double dot okay now similarly shaft will be will be twisted and it will retwist it or open in the opposite direction hence the opposite direction torque is known as kt theta okay now first of all let us understand k is equal to force by displacement okay so that if we want to find out kt it is torque by angular displacement so if we want to write down kt we will get kt is equal to t by theta so torque is equal to kt into theta overall we need to calculate all the moment of the system tend to apply on this system so now let us have consider the equilibrium condition for the equilibrium condition we can write i0 or i theta double dot plus kt theta is equal to 0 we can write i0 or i i0 in it means the moment at a particular point at here we are not considering any particular point hence we can simply write i theta double dot now by divide it with i we can write theta double dot plus kt by i is equal to 0 now if we compare it with simple harmonic motion equation we can simply write that omega n is equal to under root of kt by i so here there is the second equation of natural angular velocity first is under root of k by m if it is a linear or longitudinal vibration and if is there any torsional vibration omega n is equal to under root of kt upon i okay so now this is our equation Lo with respect to this equation we can find out the frequency and the equation of frequency is 1 upon 2 pi under root of kt by i so this is our second equation of the frequency you have to remember this theory this theory is very important for understanding now based on this theory and the combination of a spring mass theory we can solve so many numericals okay so let us try to solve the numerical first of all we have the numerical as determine the natural frequency of a system as in the diagram so our first diagram is the basic diagram and second is our calculation of that particular diagram okay so first of all check our first diagram base spring pulley and a mass okay now assume you are pulling the mass towards downward direction okay then what will happen if mass will be pulled in the downward direction inertia force of that mass will be in the upward direction the pulley will rotate in the uh, suppose in the anti clockwise direction it will come back to the original position it means in the clockwise direction spring will be elongated hence spring force in the downward direction okay so this kind of system can be takes place now let us consider x what is x the pulling of this mass or the displacement of a particular mass so x is equal to r into theta in general uh, as we write down the displacement x is l theta radius as l theta we are write down the l is equal to r theta just like that we have to write x is equal to r theta so x dot is equal to r theta dot and x double dot is equal to r theta double dot okay now let us solve this equation here 
X is a displacement. So for this mass, what is the inertia torque, inertia force? It is Mx double dot. Pulley will move in a, uh, in the anti-clockwise direction. Hence, if we want to consider the clockwise rotation, it is I0 theta double dot in the opposite direction of the motion. And spring force is also in the opposite direction. It means K into X, which is a spring force. Now in this case, we need to take moment about O. So by taking moment about O, what we can write? We can write sigma of all the moment about O is equal to 0. So here we are considering the equilibrium condition. For this equilibrium condition, we can write I0 theta double dot plus Mx double dot. But Mx double dot is a force. What we need to consider? Moment. It means Mx double dot into radius R. Okay. Plus Kx. But Kx is a force and we need to calculate the moment. Hence, Kx into R is equal to 0. Now, let us put the value of x as well as x double dot. So, by putting the values of x as well as x double dot, we will get the equation as I theta double dot plus MR theta double dot into R is there itself and K R theta into R is equal to 0. Now, let us put the I0 value. So, what is the mass moment of inertia of this pulley? It is half of mass into radius square. It means half of mR square. Okay. Theta double dot plus mR square theta double dot plus kR square theta is equal to 0. Okay. If you see this equation, R square is common. Okay. So that we have to common out this value and divide it by 0. Hence, that value is neglected. R square can be neglected. And let us group this equation. So we have to put theta double dot in the same group and theta in the different group. So that we can write half of m, half of capital M plus small m theta double dot plus k theta is equal to 0. Now divide all this equation with respect to half of capital M plus small m. Okay. So that we will get the equation in the form as theta double dot plus k upon half of m plus small m into theta is equal to 0. Now, if you check, this is just like the equation of simple harmonic motion. Okay. So that we can write omega n is equal to under root of k upon half of capital M plus small m and frequency fn is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root of k upon half of m plus small m. So, this is the very standard numerical for torsional theorem. Okay. I hope you can understand this. Now, let us check another numerical in which we need to find out the standard values. Okay. So, let us find out the natural and uh, natural frequency of the system. If k is equal to 1000 Newton per meter, m is equal to 10 kg, small m is equal to 2 kg and capital R is 50 mm and small r is 30 mm. Okay. All the data is given to us and the system is like this. If you see spring is at the outer side of the pulley and small m, small m is at the inner side of the pulley. It is not a uh, different pulleys. It is not uh, two different pulleys in a synchronized. No, it is a single pulley. But spring is connected at the outer side and mass at the inner side of a system. Okay. Now let us find out. Assume the displacement is x. So here in this case, we have to assume two different displacements. Suppose m will displaced x1 displacement and spring will elongated at x2 displacement. Now, why all this? Just assume mass m is rotated at x1 displacement. It means mass m is attached at a very small distance, radius r. But because the pulley is very large and spring is at the outer side of that system, hence both the displacement will be different. Okay? And having single angle theta. Now, let us find out the value. Let us have Small, x1 is equal to small r into theta. So, x1 double dot we can write small r theta double dot. x2 is equal to capital R into theta. And x2 double dot we can write as r2 theta double dot but we don't need it. Now, let us solve this equation. mx 
X1 is a downward displacement, hence inertia force in the upward side. If clockwise, this pulley will rotate in a clockwise direction, hence anti-clockwise it is I0 theta double. Okay? And spring having the mass in the opposite direction of the elongation, it is Kx2. Now let us solve this equation. So let us have all the moment about O is equal to 0. So that we can write I0 theta double dot plus mx1 double dot into R because mx1 double dot is the force only. We need to multiply with the perpendicular distance and the distance is small r. Now for this spring force it is kx2 into capital R and capital R is a perpendicular distance. Now let us solve this equation. By solving this equation we will get finally let us put the value of i0 it is half of mr square theta double dot plus m small r square theta double dot plus k capital R square theta is equal to 0. Now let us club the theta double dot as well as theta values. So for clubbing the values we are getting half of capital M capital R square plus small m small r square theta double dot plus k capital R square theta. Now let us divide all this equation with half of capital M R square plus small m r square. Okay. So let us divide this equation. We will get the equation in the form theta double dot plus k r square upon half of capital M r square plus small m r square into theta is equal to 0. Now by comparing this equation with a simple harmonic equation, we will get omega n s under root of k r square upon half of m capital R square plus m small r square. And frequency fns 1 upon 2 pi omega n. And what is the omega n? Under root of kr square upon half of capital M r square plus small m r square. So this is our final answer. Student, this kind of numericals were asked so many times. Okay. Now let us put the answer of this. Let us find out the answer of this frequency. So for this frequency answer, let us put all these values. And by putting all these values, we will get frequency as 2.10 hertz. Okay, so likewise we have to solve all this numerical, we have to find out the moments and by putting the moment values we can get the final answer. Okay, if you have any doubt or any query you can ask. Thank you so much.